All right, so the name of this tutorial would be Rhino Architecture, how to model uh, circumbrand bridge in Rhino. Uh, this is a project uh, designed by studio Olafur Aliasson and it's located in uh, uh, Copenhagen in Denmark. And uh, I found it quite interesting to show you how we can uh, basically model this uh, kind of fence and uh, how we can use Grasshopper script to, to uh, help us to, to create this uh, this geometry. Um, I'm going to model uh, only one of these uh, elements and then uh, the principle will be of course the same for, for uh, all of the other ones. So I'm just gonna model one and then uh, I'll show you the process there and then I'm going to continue with the other ones uh, later. So uh, basically uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this base. So let's just start. So let's go to the top, let's create a circle and uh, let's say that this is our uh, our base. Let's find the center, let's turn on the center snap here and that's our center. Let's then move it back to zero uh, to have it all nice. Let's go to the uh, perspective, to the front, sorry, and let's say that we want to create this uh, section here so that we get this nice smooth effect. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing uh, from here from the edge and I will get the overall shape and then I will refine it later on. So let's say that something like this and now it doesn't look like anything because it's not uh, not good but let's bring it let's bring it here like so and let's straighten these guys up as well in the y direction we can even use these guys here okay so something like this. I'm going to uh, go back and forth to check here the fillets to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Here I can see that this fillet is actually a little bit bigger. All right, and let's bring it back here on the top and let's forward these guys a little bit. So right now I'm just trying to get it as close as possible to the actual thing that we see in the image. So let's say that I'm happy with this, uh, how this turned out. I'm gonna join it and I'm gonna create here one more curve. Let's go to the perspective and let's make it uh, uh, X direction like this. And now we will we'll use our revolve command. Revolve command will create this platform for us. So let's use revolve and let's select the axis and let's do the double enter and we have the platform so that will be our platform and of course if we're not happy with with how this curve looks like we can play around with it and tweak it a little bit more so for example here i see that i need this curves here to be a little bit more pronounced. Okay, so this would be the corrected version. Well, let's do again. Uh, let's do again revolve.
and that's that's better okay so uh, let's move on uh, once we have this uh, this element here on the bottom uh, we need also this thing in the middle uh, this big pole so I will start a small circle here from the middle and we will extend this circle until we get the proportions more or less correct so now I'm just comparing to see uh, what's what would be the the good the good height okay so let's say that this is uh, this is this is right I'm gonna duplicate this circle I'm gonna bring it down and I will extend it sorry scale it like so because we're creating this uh, we're creating this middle area there uh, let's say that you're happy with it I'm going to do the pipe and I will select the diameter 0 0.1 let's see if that's enough let's make it a little bit bigger 0 0.5 too big and 0 0.2 okay once we have this uh, we can uh, duplicate this circle we can scale it down a little bit and uh, let's let's bring it up because we need the actual fence so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just copy it for now like so and uh, we need these uh, these wires that are like hanging there so you can see it's not all around but for for this tutorial I'll, I'll create the wires all around and then we'll later I'll later modify them for the final rendering so basically here I will use this curve I'll hide this for now I create one uh, dot here on the top like so and I will divide let me see yeah okay so I will use this and I will extend it here I'm just copying this guy now so I need this circle I need this circle and I need this point I'm gonna isolate these guys and I'm gonna say divide this guy into let's say 16 segments Sixteen, and I'm gonna do the same for the bottom one and I'm just going to connect these lines with the top curve I'm going to just leave the point snap so that it's easier for me to to connect with all the points okay so once we have these guys we will pipe them and I'll select the radius of 0 0.05 to have these wires and that's uh, that's how it turns out uh, I can see that it has a little bit of detailing here on the top that we missed but we can recreate this by taking this circle here resizing it like so I'm gonna resize a little bit more and I'm gonna do the pipe here of 0 0.02 and here uh, I will actually use this curve and I will copy it I'll select here planar surface and I'm going to split or actually I can even trim battle let's split 
I'm gonna split all these guys with this plane and this will give me a nice smooth transition like this you see and uh, once I have this detailing done uh, it's time to create the final uh, the final uh, fence here uh, so this is uh, <clears throat> where we'll use grasshopper so basically uh, you can see here that this circle is uh, on having an angle here so in order to have this angle uh, we need to resize this circle uh, so let's let's do that now I'm gonna go to the side view and I'm going to use scaling tool here like so okay so now I know that this is in the middle uh, next thing we're gonna do is go to grasshopper and I'm gonna open a definition that I created uh, recent files and I'm gonna add these two curves and then later I will uh, explain you what happens here okay so uh, in this case this is too uh, too wide so we will need to here probably triple the amount of of uh, counts here so let's do that so let's set this to 198 and now we have a um, different story here and uh, we need to have the same uh, the same number in all the other ones so this guy here goes 198 and also this one and this one and uh, once we have this we can create the actual uh, fencing so an interesting thing here is that uh, if I select this curve and if I scale it Uh, the fence will will move with with the scaling tool which is quite good and this is exactly what i want so uh, let me just quickly explain you the definition here so uh, we're using two curves we're using the top curve and we're using the bottom curve we're dividing the curve with the divide curves uh option and we're inputting the uh the number of uh these divisions here with the count and we're dividing them in equal segments so both curves uh, uh, both the top one and the bottom one have the same the same amount of uh, divisions the next thing i'm doing is i'm using uh i'm using a list item uh to to actually say to grasshopper uh, i want to connect this dot with this dot i don't want to connect them uh exactly the same because if we just use for example uh, these points let let me show you if we use if we use a simple line here and connect uh, this point with uh, this point you will get straight lines and that's not what we want because the actual fencing has you see it has like this is one one element here and it goes all the way down then it repeats itself so uh, you want this dot to go two times on the on the right side as you can see here so uh, it's fr from here to here is the top and then there is two spots left so you want to move it by two and then you want to to connect back this guy with this guy there and that's the basic uh, logic behind the definition so what I did here is I said to grasshopper okay give me the 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 segments here and connect them uh, it starts from zero and then it goes it selects every second one so this is every second one and then here it selects so the bottom the bottom areas here connect them back so for example I'll uh, turn off the preview here so you can see these lines 
they're connecting back from the bottom up and this one is connecting from the other uh, direction and then, and then at the end I just use the join to join them uh, now I'm gonna bake this so I'm gonna bake these uh, lines and the last the last thing I'm gonna do I'm also gonna uh, I'm gonna save the the grasshopper and turn it off so at this point I'm just going to uh, to basically create here the the inner and outer circle here this will be the railing I'm gonna plan our surface this guy and I'm going to extrude it a little bit and that would be uh, that would be uh, our project I will of course do the piping here and uh, you will have the same kind of wires there Rhino this is the final rendering and this was uh, Rhino architecture how to model Circle Brand Bridge in Rhino. If you have any questions or comments for me or uh, suggestions for any future tutorials, please put them in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you know anybody who is in architecture who you think can benefit from these tutorials, please uh, show them my channel and uh, see you in the next one.